What's up, gamers? We back again with more trolls on our alt account. He he. Fallen Stars event. What? Oh, I still right. We still got that event going on. I didn't even think about it, honestly speaking. Do we got anything good in the chaos chest for this week? Chaos Mega Core. Screw it. Let's go for it. Oh, well, at least we get a cooler mount instead of this chair. <laughs> But how y'all doing today folks? Hope you're doing fantastic wonderful. Hope this video makes your day even better Uh today, I don't know. I mean you guys know me like these these videos when we're playing on our alt is usually Usually these are ranty videos, right? Where is can I please equip this gem? Uh, so I thought I would take the opportunity to kind of talk about like life what's going on and junk like that, right? Power gem. I mean, I guess we could try and go for a water and power gem, right? Come on. No, that's a fire one. That's an air one. What seamless editing skills Sayushi has. Uh, speaking of which, I'm not editing this in after by any means because I forgot to say it, but I would very much appreciate and thank you so much if you do. If you are new to Trove, use that sign up link down in the description. It really, really makes a difference. I'm not even joking. Uh, literally, if you use that sign up link, and then decide to end up purchasing anything out of the Trove store, I will make a percentage of that sale, which is an incredible way that you can support me by literally playing this game that we all love so much. Seriously, you guys, it has made a huge impact in my life because, you know, when YouTube isn't paying as well, Trove compensates for that. And I just want to share my appreciation for GameAgo for giving me the opportunity for that. And to you guys and gals watching at home who have actually made a significant Significant impact on my life. So thank you so so much. Let's open these see if we get anything good out of them. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't even have this on my main account. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh my god. I don't even have this on my main account. That's <laughs> whatever. Whatever. This game sucks. <laughs> oh, that's so discouraging. Oh my gosh. I mean, of course, I would end up getting good luck on like my alt account, right? Let's get all this crap out of the way. I just, just let's just open things, man. Got to get all our free mastery out of all this junk, right? I don't think I need to open any gems though. And maybe I'll put these uh I'll put these empowered gems away for now. What else do I got out of here that I could open? Uh Lustrious gem boxes, builders focus items, sure why not? Let's just open most of these boxes because it's like it doesn't really matter. Like there's no reason to save these, right? I don't have any keys for the inventory and strong boxes. Beginner's gem box. Ew. Can I yeah, I can sort all that. I guess I can open the scrap cache, even though technically speaking, we could use that for... That's so surprising. I'm still so taken aback by the fact that we got this mount. Uh, we could technically use those scrap cases for the, uh, you know, that quest. Salt mount cookie fin. I don't know why these don't auto collect. It's kind of weird, but whatever. Free mastery, even though I should probably loot collect them. We could use that for the, uh, the quest to open the caches, but I don't really care. See if we get anything out of these, even though I know I won't. Big unboxing today. Let's just, I want to clear up my inventory of all this garbles. I can still got to do like more unboxing videos on my main account as well. Ooh, we got a little ghost ally. Do I even have a good ally? I'm still using Cubesly for crying out loud. I mean, even this idiot's better. And he looks cooler. I, I like that a lot. I want to use that guy. Just because he looks cute. Boop. I could probably, you know, well, let's open these. I could probably uh, try to find like a cool bow style or something, but it's not like we're rocking a cool costume, honestly speaking. Man, alive, we are getting, we, we got in our mastery level. Are you serious? All right, let's open these chaos chests, see if we get anything good out of them. Just, well, flux, I guess. Speaking of which, do we have, uh, do we have chromatic cubes -ling? Is it chromatic cubes? No, it's not. I'm an idiot. Oh my god. Uh, chronomatic. That's it. Do I not have him? 
I probably spelt that wrong. There he is. Chronomancer cubes. I'm an idiot. Okay, let's see how much he is on the market. Chrono... No, Chronomancer? Oh my god, he's 70k. This, when did he go up in price so much? <laughs> no, seriously. You know what? Let's also... I doubt this is going to work, but I want to look and see if there's any costumes for the Shadow Hunter, man, that I could afford. Nope. Nope. There is the Anarchy Archer, which uh, we're pretty close to being able to afford that, but it doesn't really matter too much. Which one is that? Which one's the Anarchy Archer? I don't even know what. Oh, this one. Oh, that's weird. Gooey costume. Eh, whatever. Cubits, you guys. We did it. All right, please give me a water gem. Don't fill up my inventory. Thank you. Volatile velocity too. Hey, I'll take it. Even though I'll have to destroy this gem later. Whatever. That'll increase our power rank by quite a bit. Well, not really that much. Dark glint pinatas? Yeah, sure. I'll use these. My god, is this whole video going to be in the hub? Can you guys please kill them? I'm Shadow Hunter, so you know. You know, I can't actually do anything. Also, I didn't even notice we have a shadow mask, which yeah, is better. Better than the one we're rocking right now. Not that it matters that much. I'll just get rid of those because I don't care. I should probably destroy this too, but low key, we're kind of saving up any dragon fragments for, you know, a dragon. I do not need those. I don't even need these snowballs either. Why? Eh, eh. I don't need that crap. Eh. I got a hyper pinata, guys. Wow. <laughs> I can't believe that, dude. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, well, we're staying at level 14. So where are we going now? I think we're in. Yeah, we're still in candy for one more level, I think. Okay. Anyways. Hi, guys. Um, I got super distracted by all that stuff. So basically my my life's been uh it's been pretty stressful lately honestly speaking guys uh keeping up with the videos has also been very difficult for me that's why you may have noticed that my upload schedule has been quite sporadic uh a lot of that again I, you know i don't mean to say this in a blameful way uh, or anything like that but i have had my uh, cousin staying over uh, you know, he's living with us and eventually uh, he's going to end up moving to uh, Japan um, And this is kind of the in-between process uh, Very soon he's gonna be moving this month, which is pretty crazy for him I don't want to get into too much detail about his own personal life stuff uh, but obviously another person here upsets the dynamic of uh, upset is not really it's the proper word but you guys i hope you guys know what i mean i'm just trying to say that it's kind of made things a little bit like like it's like when i might normally have recorded i don't get to kind of thing like i can't just record any time of the day uh but on top of that i've also just had a pretty erratic schedule myself um lately you guys may have noticed that my streams have kind of been at night time uh, that's because I, uh, you know, generally speaking, I get most of my work done at night just because it's the only time that everyone's quiet. Like, I don't want to say that it's all just because my cousin's here or anything like that. Like, generally speaking, it is difficult for me to record in the day just because if any of you guys saw my setup 2020 video, I am literally recording in the living room. So pretty much everyone in the house has to be like quiet during the times that i'm recording or streaming and then on top of that you guys have heard in the streams and stuff where the slightest sound makes you know the dogs go crazy or something and it's just you know nighttime's pretty much the only time where i get uh time to myself time to record time to get to work and everything like that like i don't have like an in-room studio or junk like that and i'm not trying to ramble about this i'm just trying to say that this is one of many things that have been kind of uh building up my stress levels you know not to say that i'm like in trouble or anything guys like things are doing fine okay uh, it's just been a bit of a rough time for me right now. That's all. It, it'll pass. It always has. Um, but on top of all of that, too, uh, you know, I can't stay on the night schedule. Sorry, I bumped my mic there. I can't stay on the night schedule as much as I would like to uh, just because I have a lot of chores and stuff that I've been having to like a lot of things that I've been having to do during the day. 
Uh, like right now, for example, you know, I'm recording this on the weekend and I'm on a night schedule, but now I have to stay up for like, I, I don't know, as long as I can, which means that I'm going to get behind on recording and stuff like that because come Monday, I got to be back to a normal day shift. And for me, it's a lot easier to just stay up rather than going to bed early. Like it just, I don't really, I have a very hard time sleeping <laughs> like when I'm supposed to type of thing. Um, that said, it's kind of like ripping off a band-aid, isn't it? It's like, if you got to wake up early, you simply just are tired that day. Uh, but on Monday, you know, we got to take the dogs to the vet. Not really, ain't nothing serious, like just a, you know, yearly appointment for uh, just their shots and stuff like that. Uh, but we got to get up early for that. And then on top of that, next Tuesday, or well, maybe not next Tuesday, but next week in general, uh, I'm trying to work out another tattoo appointment because for those of you that have been keeping up, uh, you may have noticed that more recently, like I've had pretty much consistent tattoo appointments every week for like three, uh, almost four weeks now. And the reason for that is because uh, I'm trying my darndest to get my back tattoo finished. Um, which my back tattoo is basically this massive tattoo that's taken up my entire back. Uh, I will have a video talking about it uh, once it's actually finished, but right now we're going through the color process. Uh, all the line work and all of the black is done, but we do have to uh, go through all of the coloring, which I mean, it just takes a long time to get a tattoo done. I'll, I'll talk more about like tattoos and the experience that I've been having with this tattoo when I end up actually making the video highlighting it specifically, you know? Uh, but I just wanted to casually mention it uh, today and just in, you know, in my videos, I'm just very open about that. But the thing is that whenever I do end up getting a tattoo, like it leaves me pretty dead because I go for like two hour sessions because three hours is a bit too much. I get really, really cranky and frustrated uh, with two hours, depending on how difficult the session is. Uh, like two weeks ago, it was extremely painful and unbearable. And I was dead for like two days just because I was just going through the healing process and I just couldn't handle it. Right. Uh, and then the one that I got last week was super duper easy. No problem. Uh, I've, I was fine the day of and I got to recording. The point is that on average, when I get a tattoo done, it's very, very exhausting and taxing on the body. Uh, and so usually I'll just be dead for the day and that's just another day that I'm not recording. So I usually have to stock up on a recording or something like that. On, on top of the fact that the games that I've been playing, you know, like it's kind of up and down uh, with how YouTube works for me. Uh, because sometimes I'm really into Trove or just generally speaking, there's a lot to do in the game, which obviously there hasn't really been that much lately. Um, so I don't know, like there, obviously there's other tutorials that I could do, but for the most part, I've done everything that you can do in Trove. Uh, and the only things that I could do tutorial wise, uh, even is just repeating tutorials, like doing tutorials that I've already done, but they would be like kind of a 2020 edition. Right. And I'm not saying that I don't like doing those videos or anything like that, but a little bit more thought has to go into them instead of something like this, where I just hit the record button and I just start ranting and, uh, focus on like a few specific topics. Uh, and we just go from there, you know, like these videos are very easy for me. That's also why, uh, you've probably noticed that I've been doing a lot more streams lately because streaming is hella easy for me. Uh, it's actually really good stress relief to do streaming. Uh, I find just because I've been a lot more honest with you guys in my streams, uh, about, you know, just just being more myself i guess not necessarily more honest with you guys it's just i've been more myself lately where i'm just more relaxed and uh not really worrying too much about uh delivering the highest quality content and focusing on specific topics or anything we're just kind of chilling and having a good time uh, that has also been apparent, as you may have noticed, with the Trove streams as well, even though I probably should just be streaming uh, on my alt. I know that I just keep talking about that, but at least with my alt, I've got like so much content that I can tackle with the game that everything kind of feels like we're progressing rather than on my main. It's like, what can I do? Go for perma torches. That's pretty much it from Leviathans. And that's kind of boring for me. Like I just, I don't really care about doing something like that, especially on stream. Uh, you know, it just would end up being kind of boring just sitting there waiting for invites all the time or trying to find Leviathans and find a group that could even do it, blah, 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 blah. You see what I'm doing or see what I'm talking about here. 
but on top of that, you know, I know that most of you guys obviously are just interested in the troll videos, but I play lots of other games. Um, I'm not, I, I want, I'll tackle the topic about whether I'm quitting Trove or not like that as well, just because I want to give you guys an honest answer, but uh, let me just finish my uh, train of thought here. To just say that I am a gamer and gaming channel in general, Trove just kind of happened to explode for me on the channel, you know? Uh, it's not that, like, it's not that I planned it, it's because it, I see lots of people always ask, like, it's like they want to get into doing troll videos and stuff like that, and they always ask and wonder, like, what they could do for that, and it's like, it's not like this was planned or anything, I just happened to play this game for such a long time that people just started tuning into my videos, and that's that, you know? Not to mention, like, all the tutorials and stuff, just because I know so much about this game, uh, I'm so learned about it, and also just the fact that the game uh, doesn't really do a good job explaining so many things that I think you know I, I've carved out my market I've carved out my my niche uh, you know what what you guys want to see is all the trove stuff but if I'm being perfectly honest being a hundred percent a trove channel though it probably would be more successful for me is not fun for me I, I like playing a variety of video games you know and the simplest times is when I like more recently you know like a month or two back when i was just playing trove and ghost of tsushima oh my god that was so fun and i'm trying to bring tsushima back on the channel i did a stream the other day so that'll probably come out today or something or tomorrow i, I don't know when exactly but it's like i technically i already beat that game like i love when i'm playing like a single player game that comes to an end because it's very very easy for me to just play it and just enjoy it instead of with a game like this where there's just so many branching pathways of how you can tackle the game and including how you can tackle a video you know do i go left do i go right uh it's an mmo game so it's like it, it kind of uh works best when we have videos like this where i kind of just be real with you guys and chill and hang out and you know even during the streams and stuff i'm just answering like hundreds of questions and junk like that but anyways let's go on to the main topic here which obviously you guys are constantly asking me about am i quitting trove no i'm not it's a meme okay you guys are always asking me whether i'm quitting trove and i don't know why because i've been playing this game for this long i still enjoy this game despite the fact that uh, like I even in my discord I find it to be a little bit abrasive sometimes because everyone seems to assume that I hate this game I don't know why like it's like I I am very very open about the fact that I still enjoy trove it's just I don't play it 24 7 uh, and I'm very very open about the things that I don't like about the game that's it. it it's not like I don't like this game it's not like I don't like playing it so whenever I have people like in the discord server talking about like oh yeah you know uh, trove sucks and you know it or something like that it, it, it just always kind of catches me where it's like no you don't like trove uh, you know but for me i'm still enjoying this game like maybe there's something wrong with me that i still enjoy it but it, it it's like I, I find it very strange when people try to uh, force their own opinions on other people you know and i've just i don't know if i've been seeing that a lot more recently or more than likely it's just because of what i'm going through personally with uh, stress and stuff like that uh, and i don't want to I, I don't want to overdo it talking about like, oh, I'm so stressed out, you guys. I need a break from YouTube or something like that. Like, no, I'm fine. It's just, it's just I'm stressed out lately. That's it. It's it's part of life. You know, you guys don't got to worry about it. I, I just want to be very clear about that. But I'm just saying because I'm kind of in a more negative headspace, maybe that's why I'm noticing the negative uh, negativity a bit more, uh, you know, because that's something else that I've noticed as well is just when you're in when you're thinking about dark things you just not that i'm thinking about dark things i'm just making a point okay but it's like uh, you'll notice the darkness right <laughs> i i don't know how else to and uh how else to explain that uh i know that that sounded really really bad but uh, rest assured guys everything's going good everything's going fine uh i just i guess want to uh in closing saying with all of this rant please be patient with me okay because i i know that a lot of you guys uh are either wanting nothing but trove or generally speaking want more than just trove streams but for right now it's just easier for me 
Uh, and I would also appreciate that when you guys come to me playing like other streams and stuff like that, like if I'm playing Fall Guys or Ghost of Tsushima and stuff, I, I don't really appreciate when you guys come in and just start trying to bully me back into playing Trove. Like it's like, I don't want to play it. That's why I'm not streaming it. You know, when I feel like streaming Trove, I stream Trove. When I feel like streaming Fall Guys, I stream Fall Guys. It's just... Uh, you know, I'm very organic and very authentic about the content that I want to deliver to you guys. Uh, it's like, I, you know, I'm recognized as like this big trove YouTube channel and stuff like that. But it's not like that is all that I do type of thing. It's not like I only identify with trove as the only game that I play. I don't know. I I'm just trying to say it that I appreciate those of you that have been respectful of that because a lot of you have been. Uh, you know, most of my streams actually has been, uh, you know, like I said, a really good outlet for my stress uh, because we'll just be chilling, having fun and stuff like that. And for the most part, uh, I don't end up having you guys just come raiding the chat talking about like trove this and trove that. Sometimes it does happen and it can end up being quite frustrating for me. So I, I guess that I'm just trying to say I'm just trying to say go easy on me, you know, give me a bit of a break. Uh, just because things are things are getting I don't know it, it's not like it's related to you guys it's not like my life is in shambles or anything like that uh, it, it, I, I guess I'm just wanting to be honest with you guys and wanting to be open uh, about what's happening in my life and uh, why, why the uploads have been so inconsistent uh, and uh, you know even the videos themselves have kind of been more sporadic about what they're focusing on and stuff like that because I'm you know even though to a lot of you guys you view my channel as already successful uh to me it's like i i i feel like i don't know like i i don't want to necessarily go into this topic because i think it leaves too much room for interpretation and people to misunderstand uh but i guess what i'm trying to say is that i i still i still view myself as a small time channel i still view myself as something that i can you know my channel and just myself as a person and my content i am constantly trying to make things better and to grow as a person and hopefully grow as a channel and that's why i'm just kind of experimenting with different types of videos and stuff like that while also still just being very uh very much myself you know like i put out the other day uh, the video where i was playing a bunch of indie games um and i wanted to get feedback on you guy from you guys whether or not you wanted it to be longer with less cuts or uh, enjoyed the video for what it was and generally speaking uh the reception was quite positive obviously that video wasn't very popular just because nothing other than trove is popular on the channel but that doesn't really matter to me uh as much as i don't know as much as just making you guys have a good time and uh obviously you know the biggest pull is all of the trove stuff but that i, I don't know I, I don't mean to ramble now i'm going in circles i feel so i, I maybe we'll just pull the topic here and just call it a day uh at the least we ended up getting a level 15 we got this we also got an empowered gem that we needed too, and we got another ally, which, I mean, he's slightly better. He's not that great. Whoopsie daisy. I keep forgetting. I gotta find a freaking cornerstone, dude. Like, seriously. Anyways, uh, sorry if I ended up repeating topics here, guys. When I'm talking about, like, more personal things like this, usually I just wing it and go for it because then I can talk passionately from the heart uh, rather than talking from a script. Sometimes I'll end up having a piece of paper just to write down the specific topics that I want to hit. Uh, but I've been, you know, I, I, I kind of knew what I wanted to talk about today. And uh, hopefully you guys understand um i'm not trying to say that the channel's dying or anything i'm not going anywhere I, i'm not quitting trove I, i'm not quitting other games um i guess what i'm trying to say ultimately out of all of this is that i am becoming a fall guys channel That was a joke, by the way.